Welcome to the F28377S Launchpad Project Zero video. I'm Trey German, Launchpad Applications Manager. Today we'll be walking through how you can get started working with the new C2000 Delfino Launchpad. In this video, we'll cover installation of drivers, the out-of-box demo, and our first Blinky program. For the Blinky program, I will assume you have already installed Control Suite and Code Composer Studio, or CCS. Before we can run the out-of-box demo, we need to install drivers for the XDS100 emulator on the board. This will enable us to view the back-channel UART data from the launchpad. You can download the drivers from ti.com slash XDS100 drivers. Entering this URL will immediately begin the download. Once the download completes, uh, you can go ahead and extract uh, the files. Once the files are extracted, um, you'll see two executables in the folder. One is a 32-bit executable, the other is a 64-bit. Uh, you'll need to install the correct version for the uh, version of the operating system that you have. I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and run that one. And step through the installation process. Now it's done, and you're ready to move on to the next step. To fully experience the out-of-box demo, we'll also need a serial terminal program on our PC. For the optimum experience, I recommend using PuTTY. Uh, a quick Google search will yield PuTTY as the first result. And I recommend the Windows installer package here. You can download that and install it. And after you install it, uh, it should be available in your start menu. After installing the drivers, plug the launch pad into your PC's USB port with the supplied USB cable. The power LEDs should illuminate and the two user LEDs will flash. During this, your PC should begin the process of recognizing the hardware. When this completes, we need to find the COM port associated with the launch pad. You can do this by clicking Start and typing in Device Manager. You'll want to click on uh, the actual Device Manager entry uh, in the Start menu. In the window that opens, look for the ports entry and expand it, looking for a USB serial port. If one is listed, make note of the number. If one is not listed, as is the case here, uh, scroll down to the bottom and look for the Universal Serial Bus Controllers. In this list, look for the TI-XDS100 channel B, right-click on it, and open the Properties window. In the window, uh, select the Advanced tab and check the Load VCP box. Click OK, and then unplug the USB cable, and plug it back in. After uh, a second or two of driver installation, we should see a USB serial port under the ports list. Uh, make note of that COM number. In this case, it's COM72. Run PuTTY, or a serial terminal of your choice, and open up the COM port we found earlier. Mine was COM72, so I'm going to type that in there. Um, and then we're going to adjust the speed to 115-200. After opening the COM port, we'll want to reset the board so that we can see the beginning of the serial communications. To do this, press the reset push button on the board. After the LEDs on the board stop flashing, the board enters an ADC sample mode. In this mode, ADCN A6 is sampled once a second. If the sample is higher than mid-scale, the red LED is lit, while if it is lower than mid-scale, a blue LED is lit. Now that we've completed the out-of-box demo, let's take a look at how we can program our own application to the launchpad. Start by opening Code Composer Studio. After CCS opens, if Resource Explorer isn't already open, uh, open it by clicking View, 
Resource Explorer. In this new window, you should see a listing for Control Suite on the left. Expand Control Suite, and then the language of your choice. Next, expand Devices, Delfino F2837XS, Code Examples, and then select Plinky. In the right pane, you should see a series of steps. Start by clicking Import the Example Project into CCS. This will import the project into your workspace, and it should appear on the left side of the screen in the Project Explorer. Next, click on Build the Project. This will compile and link the project such that it is ready to download to the Launchpad. Normally, we would need to click on Step 3 to configure the target configuration, but instead we've provided one for you, so you may skip Step 3. Finally, click on uh, Debug the Imported Project. This will launch the Debug view, connect to the debugger, program the Blinky example to the launchpad, and run the example until it reaches the main function. From here, you can click the green play button near the top of the screen, and the LEDs on the board should begin to blink. Congratulations on blinking your first LED on the new Delfino F28377S launchpad. At this point, you can explore other examples in Control Suite or begin writing your own code. If you have any questions, please connect with the experts on the TI E2E forums. Thanks for watching and enjoy your new F28377S Delfino Launchpad.